Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Visual Impacts. My name is Erickson and on, and on this channel I talk about music video production stuff, such as editing, lighting, and other stuff. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please hit the subscribe button to be part of this little community. Now let's go into this video. On this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this very simple slide transition effect. First thing you need to do is import your clips, of course. I'm just going to import one from my video that I'm shooting right now. Click on your first clip and press P on keyboard to bring up, bring up position. Uh, right click on position and separate dimensions. We're going to be working on X because that's what moves the clip side to side, while um, Y moves the clip up and down. Put a keyframe down and move it and move it back a couple of frames. Put another keyframe down, but coming over here to this diamond arm shape and click on it. While this keyframe is still highlighted, move it back one frame, like so. Make sure that the top layer is still selected. Go over here to your clip and move it back. Make sure you're holding shift so your clip stays aligned. Because if you're not holding shift, then it's gonna be hard to move this back. So make sure you're holding shift and move it back like so. Then move this keyframe, then move this keyframe back to the right position. Make sure, um, make sure both the keyframes are selected. Whoops. Ooh, let's zoom out. Make sure both the keyframes are selected. Press F9 on your keyboard for easy ease. If for some reason you don't have F9 on your keyboard, you can always make sure both the highlight, make sure both of the keyframes are selected. Right click and go down to keyframe, oh, keyframe assist and easy ease. After doing so, make sure both the keyframes are still selected. Go over here to this graph editor tab and click on it. Come down here and make sure that edit value graphs are is selected. After doing so, click on the red <coughs> squiggly line or the red curvy line and just follow what I do. Move this like so, hold on shift and move this like so. So now you have some, so now the clip is going to become again slow. Then when it gets to the end, it's going to speed up. Get out of the graph tool, graph tab, by clicking on the graph tab up here. Zoom out a little bit. Now we're going to get rid of this empty emptiness. We're going to effect on presets and typing in motion tiles. Oops. Motion tiles and drag and drop it. Drag and drop this effect on both of your layers, or both of your clips. Uh, come back here to the top clip or the top layer, and on output, go over to um, Effect Control. On output width, put that to 500. On output height, put that to also 500, and click Mirror Edges. And you see that gets rid of the, the blackness or the emptiness. After doing so, it's time to add a little motion blur. Go over here to the motion blur tab, make sure that's selected, and then turn it on on both layers. If you don't see this symbol, then you just need to toggle toggle it on by coming down here to the toggle on switches and click it until this tab pops up. And then, you know, and then turn it on for both layers. After doing so, you should come up with something that looks like this. Ooh, let me just something looks like oh you know what you know what I'm gonna do come back on this and just move it back a couple more frames like right in there move this like so you know what move this all the way down like so See how that looks. No, it's not look good at all. What the fuck? The hell is this? Maybe it's too far back. Yeah, it's too far back. Let's move this closer. Go back to graph. Move this up and see how that looks. Mm. 
it's tight. It's not really how I wanted it, but you know, it works. That's just half of the effects. Now we need to go down to the bottom layer and do the same thing. Press P on your keyboard, bring up position, right click and separate dimensions. Go over to your X, put down a keyframe, move it back a couple frames. And then put down another keyframe by pressing on this diamond symbol. Make sure both of the keyframes are highlighted, press F9. Oh wait, no. Make sure the first keyframe is highlighted. Go over to your um, composition and move the, um, the frame, I mean move the clip back a couple, move the clip like so. Make sure you're pressing shift so it can stay aligned. As you're doing so, make sure both of the keyframes are highlighted, F9 on your keyboard to easy ease, or you can right click, assist, keyframe assist, and easy ease. After doing so, make sure both of the keyframes are, st are still highlighted. Go over to your graph, um, graph editor tab, go over here to this little menu and make sure edit values. If you don't see this menu for some reason, my, my recorder is messed up, but it's, it's this little menu right here. Edit value graph. All right, let's zoom in on this graph. Click on this um, red line, move it like so. Let's get out of here by pressing on this. Go to effects controls. If motion tiles isn't here, then you just need to add it back by just, you know, adding it back. Then output width, put down to 500. This also put it to 500 mirror edges. And you should, and that should be it right there. Should come out something that looks like this. Afterwards. That's how that looks. Yep, something that looks like that. Not bad. If you want to add a little shade to this, it's pretty easy. Come over here to your um, Y position and put down a keyframe. Go over here to the end, put down a keyframe, move it back a couple of frames, like run. Here is nice. And then on here, whoopsie daisy, this is not even aligned correctly. Okay, like that. Where was I? Yes. Go over here to your Y position, put a keyframe, move it back a couple of frames, like around here. And then move your frame or move your clip down, like so. Move over one clip or move over one frame and move it up, like so. Just a little higher. Move over one more frame and bring it down. Move over two frames and bring this up. Move over three frames and bring this like so. Oh, that's too much. Like so. Then bring this a little closer. Then highlight all your keyframes, F9 or right click, keyframe assist, easy ease. And you should come out with something that looks like this. And there you go, that's the effect. I hope you liked this video, I hope it was really helpful. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you like, if you love the video, please hit the subscribe button so you can see more from me. Anyways, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys on my next video on Tuesday. Oh, I almost forgot to say, I have another video on my channel, another transition video on my channel, but this time it's the zoom in transition. If you, like to, if you would like to learn that transition, there's a link in the description, or you could just go down to my um, channel page and go, go down a couple, and it should be there. It's, it's called a smooth zoom transition. Yep, if you, if you like this tutorial, I'm pretty sure you're gonna love that, that tutorial too. It's, it's, it's a pretty cool effect. Anyways, um, yep.